And yeah, I'm fairly confident I bought pretty much all of these in this city. This is the last store that had a decent amount of them, so we bought all they had left. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to episode 83 of going from $100 and continuously flipping shoes until we make $100,000. Now from last episode, if you did not watch it, I highly recommend doing so. We sold around $20,000 worth of shoes. So that is why our brand new grand total for this episode is $27,968.29. By far one of the biggest numbers we've had on this channel. And yeah, stick to the end of the video because just like last episode, this episode we sold a crazy amount of stuff. Now before we begin, we're going to go over a couple of things that we actually bought from the sneaker swap event a few episodes back. So let's go over everything we bought at the sneaker event, starting with these. These Air Max 97s, we got them for $20 and they're pretty much brand new. Honestly, the only really dirty thing about them is the bottoms. If I give these a light scrub, they'll pretty much be brand new. There is absolutely nothing bad on the inside or anything like that. We still have the Nike swoosh on the bottom, a size 10 and a half in this purple, neon green and pink colorway. And the only really sucky thing about it is it does not come with a box, only the shoes, but for $20 guys, should be able to move these relatively easily. Now we didn't just buy these straight up for $20. We traded a pair of those off lines for $30 plus this pair. Then we also have these, these Jordan 1 lows. Now, not gonna lie, not the biggest fan of it. I didn't get the best trade for them, but I should be able to make a little bit of profit. A size nine women's comes with the box and everything, but they are heavily used. They are kind of beat. To be honest, guys, don't know if I'll be able to make any profit on these. Hopefully I don't sell them for a loss. They're not in the worst condition. Just need to really get them looking more presentable because right now they're not looking that great. But yeah, hopefully we can sell these. We traded the Jordan 1 High Stealth in the 4Y for these. So is it the best trade in the world? No, it's for a little man who is doing a trade-up challenge. So shout out to that guy. So hopefully you're still doing good in that trade-up challenge. But yeah, we got these. Definitely my least favorite thing we traded slash bought at the event. But then we straight up bought these, a pair of triple white Yeezy 350s and really nothing bad about this pair. Only a little bit dirty on the bottoms. Once I get these back laced up right, stuffed with a little shoe stuffer and cleaned up the bottoms, they will look practically VNBS. I'm debating if I should try to unyellow the bottoms to make them look more nice, you know, but I don't know. I have never done that before, so I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to do that. Paid 260 for these. Hopefully we can sell them for a decent profit. We also bought a couple other things. Like we got those Nike Dunk Lows, which you saw before. They are already sold. Yeah, we also bought this pair of Air Max 90s. Unfortunately, I don't have them in hand. I have an in-store recording of them and we sold them at the event. But yeah, that's everything we bought slash kind of sold at the event. If you guys are new here, I don't really go over everything we technically sold because usually i buy in bulk so i like to announce to you guys it's sold once like all the bulk is sold so for example all the air forces that we bought last episode we sold a decent amount of them but i'm not going to say we sold them until every single one of them is sold that's how we get to those huge numbers at the end of the video and that's how we sold like twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff in a single episode because technically it wasn't in a single episode it's like throughout like weeks and weeks and weeks of stuff but it just looks better in the video but yeah that's all we bought at the sneaker swap. Now, just the other day, we traded a few of our shoes. We traded this pair of Jordan 4 Midnight Navies and this pair of Nike Dunk Lows for four pairs of shoes. And they're all some Nike Dunk Lows. First off is this pair. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really know this colorway or anything, but, but if you guys are interested, they're all available for sale. Hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, we traded for this pair, size 10 and a half. It's an anniversary colorway, a nice gray, black, orange, and blue colorway. Not my favorite. All of these are DS, by the way. And us trading those shoes, it came up to just under $400 worth of the shoes we're getting for four pairs. So under $400 for four pairs of dunks, not that bad. These do sell decently well. But yeah, decent trade for us. We also got this pair, a brand new pair in the Simpson dunks. These are crazy. I really like this colorway, in my opinion. Probably one of the better dunks to come out. This university blue with this yellow swoosh and all around white. Really like this colorway. And yeah, brand new. Can't complain about these. These should move really, really fast. And then finally, we got two pairs in this colorway. 
I'm pretty sure this one is called the 3D swoosh colorway. You can obviously see why. They try to make that swoosh look 3D and it's a nice gray colorway. Honestly, not that bad of a colorway of a shoe. I think it would look a lot better if it was just like a plain, nice gray and white colorway and get rid of all these swooshes on the swoosh itself and change that lime green bottom to a nice white colorway. But other than that, they also do sell for a decent amount of profit. So can't complain about that. Yeah, that is everything so far that we traded, bought and sold in the last couple days. Now, with that being said, let's go to the stores, see if there's anything we can pick up this episode. And honestly, between you and me, like I said earlier, we did sell some of those Air Forces, so we're most likely going to pick up some more. So let's go to the stores, see what we're picking up this episode. Okay, we are back and I'm just gonna get it out of the way. We got 15 more pairs of the Air Force One Low in the triple red colorway. Again, they're $79.99. Practically impossible not to make any profit on them. And we got sizes eight ranging to a size 12. Very, very good. Honestly, guys, these most likely are gonna be sold very fast just because of how well they're doing. The original price of these are $170. So getting them for $79.99, is an absolute steal in my opinion and yeah i'm fairly confident i bought pretty much all these in the city this is the last store that had a decent amount of them so we bought all they had left but yeah we got all of the triple red air forces but we got two more shoes let's go over the other things we bought we also bought these some air max pluses and as you can see on the shoe it does say 50 percent off that's exactly why we picked these up a nice gray black and a little hints of red on the shoe you guys if you have been watching you know we sell air max pluses all day long for a really good profit we've definitely made over ten thousand dollars in profit alone in air max pluses so when i see them on sale like this i have to pick them up and they only had a ten and a half left so fortunately that's all we picked up just this last pair but we got two more shoes shoes that you know not the biggest resale value but sh that should move i hope they are these, these dark green and dark blue Nike Dunk Lows. Now you're probably wondering, why do you think these aren't that good of a seller? Mainly because guys, I'm sorry to break it to you, but Dunk Hype is dead. Jordan 1 Hype is dead. And a colorway like this before would sell for so much money and now it doesn't really sell for that much. I don't expect to make the craziest amount of profit on them, but it is a nice colorway. Hopefully, I'd be able to make a little bit of profit on them. And yeah, if you guys want me to make a whole video explaining why I think the sneaker market is down and do a whole video breaking down everything involved in like the sneaker market and how to actually make money reselling now that shoes like these don't have that great of a resale value let me know in the comments below because i'm so down to make that video because i think there's a lot of misinformation out there that a lot of people are falling into but trust me guys even if this shoe doesn't have that much resale value sneaker reselling will never die in my opinion i don't think it ever will die it's always an increasing market i think it's like a billion dollar industry at the moment maybe even more but yeah if you want that video comment down below and yeah guys that's everything we picked up this episode a little bit drier of an episode but i think we still did really good but we're not done yet if you guys are new here we still have to go over everything we stole this episode everything in our inventory and then finally our grand total so Let's go over everything we sold this episode, starting with the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Black Gum. We sold a size 10. Then the Air Max 90 Black Chlorophyll. We also sold a size 10. Then in the Air Max 27 Golf Black and White, we sold a 13 and 8.5. And then in the Jordan 1 High OG Stealth, we sold a size 6Y. Then in the Jordan 1 High OG Washed Pink, we sold both of the 9 women's. Then in the Jordan 1 Mid Game Royal, we sold a size 12. Then in the Jordan 3 Dark Iris, we sold a size 12, 11. And a half and 11. Then in the white cement reimagined, we sold both of the four Ys. Then in the wizard, we sold a size 12. Then finally, in the Nike Dunk Low SE Acid Wash, we sold a size 1 Y. Yeah, hopefully, we're getting very, very close to that $30,000 mark because a lot of our inventory is selling very fast. And if you guys are wondering how has it been 83 episodes and you have under 30k, 
this is exactly why let's go through everything in our inventory starting with starting off with the yeezy 350 v2 in the cream colorway we got a size nine and a half then in the nike offline 2.0 summit white colorway we have a size 13 11 two tens a nine and a half nine and eight and a half then in the nike zoom x vaporfly next percent two black metallic gold coin we have two 11 and a half and 11 and eight then in the university gold colorway we have an eight and seven and a half then in the hyper violet flash crimson colorway we have a size 10 and eight and a half women's then we have the sem frank rudy colorway in a size 13 12 11 and 10 and a half then in the normal m frank rudy colorway we have a 12 11 and 10 and a half then in the black metallic silver colorway we have two nines then in the joker colorway then in the light bone colorway we have a size 10 and a half and nine and a half then in the n7 colorway we have a 12 and 10 then in the triple black colorway we have a size 7 then in the nike air max 90 terrascape raider foam black white colorway we have two size 10s two eight and a half and an eight then in the gore-tex photo dust colorway we have a size 13 two 12s three 11 and a half two 11s two 10 and a half three 10s and a nine and a half then in the olive black reflective colorway we have two 13s a 10 nine eight and a half and eight then in the recraft triple black colorway we have two 13 and a 10 then in the m frank rudy colorway we have a 13 and 11 then in the tunnel walk colorway we have a 13 12 11 10 and a half and three nines then in the nike air max 2017 cool gray colorway we have a size 12 11 and a half 11 two 10 and a half two tens a nine and seven and a half then in the wolf gray colorway we have a size 13 12 11 10 and a half and 10 then in the binary blue obsidian colorway we have a size 12 and 11 11. Then in the pure platinum colorway, we have a size 13, 12, 11, 10 and a half, 10, 8 and a half, and 8. Then in the triple black colorway, we have a size 14, 12, 10 and a half, 3 tens, two nine and a half a nine eight and a half eight seven and a half and two seven then in the high sp billy eyeless sequin we have a size 12 11 10 and a half 10 nine and a half nine eight and a half and eight then in the mushroom colorway we have a size 12 two ten and a half two tens two nine and a half four nine two eight and a half and an eight then the air force one low triple white we have an 11 and a half then in the reflective swoosh white blue colorway we have a size 13 then in the uno colorway we have a 12 nine and a half seven three six and a half and a six then in the next nature white pale coral colorway we have a 12 10 eight and a half and eight women's then in the white black pebbled leather colorway we have a size 13 then in the university blue we have a size 13 11 and a half 11 and eight then in the white metallic silver colorway we have an eight and a half then in the white chocolate colorway we have a ten and a half and eight and a half then in the triple red colorway colorway we have three 13s five 12s three ten and a half six nine and a half seven nine five eight and a half and two size eight the air max one crate brown we have two 13s a 12 and a half 12 three 11 and a half two 11s a 10 and a half two tens two nine and a half two nines and eight and a half three seven and a half a six and a half and six then in the george green colorway we have a size eight and seven then in the dirty denim colorway we have two 13s two 12s two 10 and a half a 10 and eight and a half then in the oreo colorway we have an eight seven and a half and six women's then in the men's white black metallic silver colorway we have two 11 and a half then in the black anthrite colorway we have an 11 and a half and eight and a half then in the triple black colorway we have a size 10 and a half then in the nike air max plus white pure platinum we have a size 10 9 8 and a half 8 7 and 6 and a half women's then in the white grape ice colorway we have two 13s and 11 10 and a half 10 two nines and an eight then in the black silver white colorway we have three 13s four 12s two 11 and a half three 10 and a half a 10 three eight and a half and an eight then in the black university blue colorway we have a 13 12 11 and 10 and a half then in the white colorway we have two 13 three 12s four 11 and two 10 and a half then in the spirograph colorway we have a 13 10 and a half two nine and a half and a nine then in the photon dust varsity red colorway we have a size 10 and a half then the air max thea mid ale brown colorway we have an 11 8 three seven and a half and a seven 
seven women's. Then in the black sail colorway, we have a nine, eight and a half, three eights, a seven and a half, and six and a half women's. Then in the React Infinity Run black, iron, gray, we have a ten and a half and nine and a half. Then in the black colorway, we have a thirteen, nine, and eight. Then in the leopard colorway, we have a nine and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half, and five and a half women's. Then in the Nike Free RN black anthrite colorway, we have a thirteen, a twelve and a half, twelve, eleven and a half, ten and a half, two tens, a nine and a half, two nines, and two eight and a half. Then in the black white ombre colorway, we have a ten and a half, nine and a half, and nine. Then in the wolf gray colorway, we have an eleven, ten and a half, ten, and nine and a half. Then in the Nike Tempo Legend Nine Elite FG Black Metallic Gold, we have a seven and a half, seven and six and a half. Then in the Nike Air Rift Light Bone Honeydew Light Silver Sail colorway, we have two nine women's and a five women's. Then in the peach cream colorway, we have a size ten women's, two nine and a halfs, a nine, two eight and a halfs, an eight, two seven and a halfs, a seven and six women's. Then in the Just Do It Sail Team Red, we have a six and a half women's. Then in the Indigo Haze, we have an eight and seven and a half women's. Then in the Phantom Metallic Gold colorway, we have an eight and a half, nine and a half, and two ten women. Then in the Terry Swoosh colorway, we have a ten, nine and a half, nine, eight and a half, and five women. Then in the Light Smoke Gray colorway, we have a six and seven women. Then in the Arizona State colorway, we have a thirteen and twelve. Then in the Pink Oxford colorway, we have a ten. Two nine women, two eight and a half, a seven and a half, seven and six and a half women's. Then in the next nature rift blue colorway, we have a size ten. Then in the essential paisley pack barely, we have a size seven and a half women's. Then in the Miami hurricanes colorway, we have a size thirteen. Then in the gorge green midnight navy, we have a nine and a half women's and seven women's. Then in the NBA seventy fifth anniversary Knicks colorway, we have a ten and a half. Then in the next nature Homer Simpsons, we have a six and a half wide. Then in the 3D swoosh gray colorway, we have two five and a half Ys. Then in the Deadpool colorway, a six and a half Y. Then in the Anthrite white colorway, we have a size 12, 11, 10, nine and a half, and nine. Then in the Jordan Why Not Point Five Bloodline, we have an 11 and a half and nine and a half. Then in the Jordan Zion 2 Voodoos, we have three 10 and a halfs and two tens. Then in the Jordan 13 University Blue, we have eight 13s, four 12s, six 11 and a half, six 11s, a 10 and a half, and nine and a half. Then in the French Blue colorway, we have a six and a half and six Y. Then in the Playoff colorway, we have a seven Y. Then in the Jordan 12 Florals, we have a size seven Y, two six and a half Ys, a six Y, a five and a half Y, and a four Y. Then in the Jordan 11 Cherries, we have a size 10, eight and a half, eight, Six Y, two four and a half Ys, three four Ys, and two three and a half Ys. Then in the Jordan 9 Fire Reds, we have three 13, six 12s, six 11s, 11 10 and a half, two nine and a half, three nines, two eight and a half, and eight and seven. Then in the Jordan 7 Citruses, we have a size 12, two 11s, a 10 and a half, and 10. Then in the Jordan 6 Georgetowns, we have six 13s, two 12s, 6, 11, 2, 10 and a half, a 10, 2, 9 and a half, a 9 and 8. Then in the Jordan 5 UNCs, we have 4 size 13, a 12 and a size 8. Then in the Jordan 5 low PSG, we have a size 11. Then in the Jordan 4 Midnight Navy, we have 2 size 5 Ys. Then in the Seafoam colorway, we have a size 10 and 9 and a half women's. Then in the Marina Blue colorway, in a size 6 women's. Then in the Inside Out Tech Gray colorway, we have a size 10, 8 and a half have an 8. Then in the true blue colorway, we have a 13, 12, 2 11s, 7, 7 Ys, a 5 and a half, and 5 Ys. Then in the barely grape colorway, we have an 8 and a half and 8 women's. Then in the Chicago flip colorway, we have a 9 women. Then in the stealth colorway, we have a size 10, 9, 8 and a half, 8, and 7 and a half women. Then in the Jordan 1 high taxis, we have 2 7 Ys, 4 13, and a size 8. Then in the lost and found colorway, we have a size one and a half Y, two one Ys, a five C and a seven C. Then in the NYC to Paris colorway, we have a seven and a half. Then the white black Volt University gold colorway and a nine and a half. Then in the court purple 2.0, we have a 10 and a half. Then in the starfish colorway, we have a seven and a half, seven, two six and a half, two six, a five and a half and five women's. And finally, the Jordan one high Dior's in a size nine and a half. Yeah, as you can see, we have quite literally tens of thousands of dollars in our inventory alone. Now, just imagine if we sold everything you just saw, we would have 
we might have like that goal we might be very very close to that grand total i'm not 100 percent sure if we actually hit our hundred thousand dollar milestone because we still have a decent amount of stuff that we haven't sold yet so once all of that does sell I don't even know maybe we'll have it plus we have a lot of stuff in the nether inventory that we're holding on to as an investment like some jordan one some jordan four lightnings we have a bunch of stuff holding as an investment also tens of thousands of dollars just holding there waiting for them to go up in price but that being said guys thank you for watching to the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of my newest videos and yeah if you have any suggestions on any kind of videos you want me to make let me know in the comments below i'm down to make them and yeah with that being said i'm not too sure if we're gonna hit thirty thousand dollars this episode because we bought a lot of air forces even though that they're only 79.99 times that by 15 that's like a thousand dollars right there so let's see if we hit thirty thousand this episode and roll our brand new tally right now